This is the Normal Nerds Podcast, where two very normal dudes talk about very nerdy stuff and whatever else we feel like talking about. I'm your host, Maxwell Sercia. And I'm your host, who is blessed not to be storm-blessed, Davis Bates. This episode, we're going to be ranking our top five Stormlight Archive characters. So sit back, relax, and welcome to the Normal Nerds Podcast. All right, Davis. Stormlight Archives. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Big fans. Oh, 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 really? Are we? Mm-hmm. Are we big fans? I think we're actually super fans. Yeah, we bring it up on the podcast a lot. Yes. Um, and we haven't we you know done a mm-hmm. review or anything of Stormlight recently or anything like that. But we are... I don't know why we don't do this on the podcast all the time, but we constantly are ranking characters and yes. ranking stuff. So we decided, well, let's bring it to the podcast. Yes, uh, I think that's a good idea. We're going to be ranking our top five characters. Uh, I'm going to add there's two caveats, which we might toss these in other episodes, is... Uh, this is not Cosmere characters. Yes. Even correct. though I uh, will make an argument for why someone should be number one. We'll get to that later. And um, I believe, and I think you agree with this, that the Spren are, or like, you know, Sword and Emmy type people, are part of the character. Correct. They're not separate. They're you not know, separate. like Kaladin and Syl, they're they're a package deal. So yeah. if you're putting them on the list, you're putting them on the same spot yeah. on the list, you know. And then you can do a separate list of ranking Spren. Of course. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. No problem. But that is how it works right off the bat. Just the characters and like... The Spren are with them, so we can't. You wouldn't be like Calvin is number one, so is number two. Yes, they're correct. one of the same. Correct. So let's hop right into it. Which with our fives, we're gonna yeah, do, we'll do five. five. Yeah, top five, top yeah. five. Keep it simple. What's your Keep fifth? Keep it. I think my I, fifth. So this is so once again, number one is like the best. Number five is least. So for, I hope anyone understands that. You know, you never know. There's I, a lot of no, weird I, stuff. I I would think my fifth would be. I haven't done the list in reverse. Uh, I think my fifth would be. Um, eh, I think it's Adolin. Yeah, I'd say Adolin. Fifth is Adolin? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Hmm. I love Adolin, but Hmm. there's a couple of characters I like a lot more than him. Hmm. Actually, no. Swap that. No, it'd be Yasna. There we go. Yasna? Yes. What? I like Yasna. Oh, man. Yeah. She's not even on my top five. Oh, well, I like her. Why is she? Well, okay, so... uh, Mainly because of Rhythm of War. Because they're badass scenes. Yeah. I mean, Yasna definitely has, like, some of the most badass scenes in Rhythm of War. And I really liked... I was a really big fan of um, when she did... So, her opening in... What was it? Oathbringer? Words of Radiance. Oh, Words, Words of Radiance was her book? Was her book? Are you talking, uh, when she opened when she, up? Yeah, when she was the opener. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. So her point of view of the party I thought was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, especially when you got dragged down into Shadesmar and dragged yourself out of it and all this stuff. I thought that was awesome. And, you know, there's not a lot of people that can argue a high spread to the point where they want to kick you out of Shadesmar. Like, okay. <laughs> that's just a big thing to do. Wow. I'm really interested now. So are you taking Adolin off your no. list? I'm very interested now. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay, that's your fifth. My fifth is Lyft. Yes. I love Lyft. Yes. Uh, every time Lyft's in this in the book or anywhere, I got to read Edge of Nature. I can't yes. believe I have it. It's a Lyft focused book. Love her to death. Wendell goes along with the package. It's like, that's the thing. It's like, I, I like Yasna. Ivory blows. Yeah, yeah that's true. Ivory's uninteresting. Ivory, Ivory sucks. He's boring. Yeah. He's, He's boring. boring. He's boring. He's boring. Wendell, He's boring. <laughs> amazing. Yes. And mistress and Wendell lift. is one of my fucking. I know this is we're talking about the these are scary, but Wendell is one of my fucking favorite spread. If still wasn't a thing, yes. Wendell, Wendell would be my favorite spread, yes. hands down. Yep. He's fucking hilarious. He's, he's world hilarious. renowned in Shadesmar for growing chairs. I know he's hilarious. You can't make that shit up, people. And it only it only <laughs> makes him funnier is that hit him and Lyft together are just oh my unbelievably God. hilarious because Lyft and her awesomeness. Yes, and she just gives him a constant panic attack. I love it. I think I, it's amazing. I didn't even remember this part, but I guess an Oathbringer. What you, Doug was like this kid. Out, work with was reading it and uh he's like i love when chalon's having like a breakdown of the battlefield and lifts comes over it's like so if you're uh done like you know freaking out or like having a breakdown can you actually do something yeah <laughs> like, lift yeah gooner that's um, pretty great so that's my number five what was, that, what was the one scene where it was like oh um maybe maybe like i would i she like, i got mad lift got mad about something it's like you know well maybe i'll just stop eating and when it was like ha! oh yeah, like, yeah right <laughs> yeah no that. shot <laughs> <laughs> and that's when he's and I love when she's climbing around the tower and it's like really high up and Wendell, Wendell's like what if we fall and she's like aren't you a spread don't you don't die he's like we don't know that <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but that's um, my number five which is number four Lyft is, Lyft is my number four oh okay so we yeah. are deep Lyft, Lyft is definitely like number four um, I, li- I like her oh, a lot I think she's God. when she becomes more badass or more awesome I should say yes. I think she might rise a lot on the list but she's just a gooner right now yeah a very funny gooner oh, but, great. and, and love like it. I love what she does and all this stuff and when she gets a little stronger and we start deep diving into why she works on Life Light as opposed to Stormlight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's got um, a lot of mystery I think, behind I think her. she might move on my list, but yeah. She's got a lot of mystery behind her. Yeah. I love when uh, 
Stormfather took him, take him. I think it's, I think it's Dalinar, Yasna, and Avani are in like uh, one of the visions, and Lyft just shows up. Yeah, and, yeah. And then she's like, "Bye." And they're like, "What the?" What and the, the hell Stormfather's is... like, "What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck did the Night Watcher do? Yeah. She made this girl just to piss me off. Yep. This ain't cool, bitch." And like he was so fucking angry. It was, it was awesome. Um, and that well, my number four will be uh, Adolin. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, you said he's on your list. So I'm assuming yeah. he's your number. He's three. number three. Yeah. yeah. Um. I mean, come on. He's the golden retriever of the book. Yes, Mr. He Positivity. Is. Yeah. He's great. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's Maya's he's awesome. Hilarious. Yeah, especially and especially as the books go on. Like, I remember I just, he's one of those great characters where it's like, I hated Adolin when, oh, and, yeah. and when he started oh, in he was, Wave yeah. Kings and half, or fairly halfway through Words of Radiance, I hated Adolin. And that's fair. Um, and then he started doing great stuff where he was really great. And they started pointing out in the book of like spots where he can be really great. And then he was just, he's constantly keeping Caledon from killing himself. Like that's just the best. Yeah. Yeah. Like constantly. So, honestly, if I will get into like our top three, which I, now I'm realizing, uh, who you're missing, which, okay. Um, but, uh, he he was big in Rhythm of War. Not yeah. only did that scene where Syl gets him and oh my god, yeah. you traitor! Yes, um, <laughs> and then honestly, like just the whole trial and everything. Adolin's just an all star, and I really want him and Dalinar to make up. Um, I get it, Adolin. I totally get it. Totally, I totally get, get it. it. I totally get it. Um, I'm respecting how you're actually being a very high roaded about this right yes, now. Definitely, I'd be very pissed yes, too. I, I I agree that you're actually reacting better than I would, but. Get over it. Um, also, down our get over the fact that Aileen killed Sadis. We all hate it. Yeah, who fucking cares? You killed his mom. <laughs> give the yeah. kid a break. Yeah. Like, I mean, literally the scene where they have sad. First of all, yeah, Adolin props killed Sadius. Yeah, you. exactly. Yeah, yeah I don't uh, know it was a positive. But yeah, yeah downer. What Adolin did was a positive. What you did was a negative. Yes. <laughs> like, you are not the same. Well, I love when they're all standing over Sadis's body, and I think it's a barrio who's just like, I mean. This is really that bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, ah, oh, shucks. shucks. This guy. Rat. Darn. Uh, they're just like, ah, we aren't sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. a, what was the, you, you told me, there was that, the one scene where still, right after Cal, in Rhythm of War, where Kaladin gets um taken off of duty and he's like all depressed and still leaves and gets Adolin. I just remember you were talking about like, someone in your work was like, oh, she should have just left him alone. Aileen just left him alone. So, and you're, you're like, like, I said, what? Like, so they could find him from uh, hanging from a noose? <laughs> that like, was really fucking good. He was about to kill himself. <laughs> he, was about to kill himself. <laughs> he was about to kill himself. And only, a- and only Adolin and uh, Syl are the only ones that can take him out of that That's depression. That's totally factual, yes. Also, exactly. because Adolin props him on the suits. Why is number three? Honestly, I might change him to number two now I'm thinking about it. And I'll, I mean, he's, not, he's my number four right now, but I might change him to number two. Uh, because of the last book, but yeah, I'm going to change the number two, and we'll get when we get to twos. I'll tell you who my original yeah, number two was. But he's spectacular. Um, also, because everyone in that goddamn book is nuts I or know. depressed <laughs> I know. or has some weird dark history or something. Yep. Adolin just standing there, thumbs up, it's like with his speckled gray hair, just just like yeah, just like <laughs> eating an ice cream cone. Like, yeah, it's great for me, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm loving life. Yeah, kid learned that his dad killed his mom. He's still like a nice guy. Yeah. It's like ah, uh, you could be you could be emo Batman right now. You can do yeah, it. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> he kicks ass in the trial, and I love in the trial how he is like still trying to call back to Dalinar, yeah. and trying to be like his father. Yeah, it really hurts for Adolin. Like, Adolin could be a you're right. He could be an absolute whiner. Yes, because like he loved Dalinar. Yes, loved him. Yes, and then find out you know that like you know yes. That was like, that oh, no. oh, bad. So that was your number three. Yes. Okay, so I guess we'll go to my number three, yeah. who I'm positive you don't have on the list, but it is a good old Shalon Navar. Yeah. Shalon's amazing. I, anybody, any, there's people that work at only Shalon. There's one kid time who doesn't like Shalon. I don't, not, I don't not like <clears throat> Anyone who doesn't have Shalon high up is a show and jump dumb punchy boy. No, no. They're just no, like, no, I no. just like the fighting and the strong I people. I think Shalon will be, a, will be on my list eventually. <laughs> but I was thinking about it recently. It's like, she is such a fucking mess. That like, so it's Kaladin. Yeah, at least Kaladin's fighting and punchy contributes. Fighting and punchy contributes. No, Shalon contributed jack shit other than fucking up the. It's the, her actions in Rhythm of War, especially her actions, both past and present, fucked up that trial real oh my bad. God, you can't blame her for what the one that happened in the past. I kind of am. She was like five. Yeah, she was like five. Yeah, and then she covered it all up and almost did it again. So no, I don't. Give Do you her blame Kaladin for when he almost killed Syl? He didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, he was thinking about killing the king. That's not cool. Oh, I mean, that's a total. That, that's not his fault for losing Syl. That's kind of no. That is like that. That was the core reason. No, why that's the core that reason. But like he, I'm saying he didn't know he was going to kill Syl out of it. 
Yeah. Yeah. So it's not, he didn't know. That's all his fault. <laughs> I don't care. Right. She's five. Her law, she's five. Wait, no, her the law. no, she's five. That's ridiculous. She yeah, had no, no idea. And then, but then she erased it from her mind. So it is like, so when they were talking about, oh, there's like a radiant killed a sprint a few years ago. It was like, oh, no, no one could have done that. No one we know could have done that. And like, lo and behold, they could have planned for this. Had Shalon just like gotten rid of Val earlier. I mean, yeah, but she has, she is, uh, she has mental disease. Exactly. She has so many problems. <laughs> That she's like creating other problems for other people, and I think she'll okay. be a great character. Okay. When she now that Vale's gone, I think she, she'll probably. Start, I want to see which house she's in the next book because I think she'll be a lot better now that she's not repressing so much stuff. I will say um, that I do kind of agree with you on that. Yeah. And also, to your point about the show about the punchy show and stuff, she hasn't really done anything crazy cool in my mind. Yeah, I, I know. Even Making an entire player, army. Yeah, I know. But that was I don't. <laughs> That's Illusion. Okay, I'll say I, this is the side topic. Illusion armies, garbage. They are fucking useless to me. I don't think those should even be considered like useful in any way. But didn't they actually do things? Nope, they were illusions. Oh no, yeah, they were. They were just stormlight, and I was like, this is dumb. <laughs> this is dumb. She could have done other things. She could have done other things. But, but now, maybe, maybe now, if she starts soul casting, that'd be super cool. She's super she, interesting of a character. Oh no, I totally agree with that. But yeah, that's I'm not why I'm on the list because like that's I, why I ever and I always like people who are more put together anyway. So like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> that's why. That's why they're higher on my list. That's other higher minus, minus, my, who, minus my obvious, minus my obvious number one. one who's he like, is the one exception. Not he's put together the, at all. He's the one exception. Uh, the one and only exception. But that's my number three. Your number three was Adolin. Uh, what's your number two? Dalinar. So that was going to be my number two. Okay. But I switched to Dalen. Um You can go into why you put it into number two, and I'll say why I, I took him out. Dalinar he has one of the most interesting stories um, in all of Stormlight, in my opinion. Uh, his Oathbringer backstory is amazing. And it's the one... Um and okay, Andy's badass, obviously, no problem. Yeah, I knew the black door. He black door bad badass. He caught a fucking chasm fiend's claw. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's one of the most badass and a shard ever. blade and a shard blade with a last clap, which is yeah. wild. Yeah. Um. So not only is he a great fighter, and everyone knows he's a great fighter, the Blackthorn's backstory and history is awesome, and it's one of the few backstories that gels perfectly to the present sort of mm-hmm. situation. So like. Dalinar is learning his backstory as you're learning it too. Yeah, you know? that's true. Well, at some at some point, like when it when yeah, it, yeah. when the when the veil his veil breaks, <laughs> uh, but his uh, when it, when cultivations um, thing ends and he starts getting it all back. Yeah, that just like is one of the very um, the lessons he learns out of that. I think are some of the most important things in all Stormlight. Like it's not it's not the most important step man can make, but it is, the next one is one of the most important steps. You know, mm-hmm. that was like such a big line for me. And I was like, man, that's really, really good. This is the one spot where cultivation didn't fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Good for her. Yep. I will say, uh, I do love down uh, definitely. Oathbringer has the best flashbacks by yeah. far. Um, down the Blackthorn. Like when yeah. the guy shoots him with a bow and he literally is just like, that was such a great shot. So yeah. either join me or die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah he was that, definitely yeah. a, yeah. Oh, he was a rage monster. Yeah. But that's like also what makes his character so great. Yeah. Is that, like he's trying to get, he's trying to get that Blackthorn image away. Yes. The only reason I switched him in Adolin and put uh, down our uh, fourth is because he's probably going to be big in the next book, but in rhythm war, like down our, he wasn't, no, he wasn't yeah. even, but he wasn't even in the book. Yeah. He yeah, was he in for like in five, book. like what, yeah. a chapter or two. Yeah. Like, he really wasn't in the book. He was in the book. He'll be so, important next one. He'll be important next one. But yeah, this was, uh, he's just, he's such a, yeah, he's a great character and he holds everyone together too. And I don't know. He does have someone. Anyone that's, scenes. anyone that can, you know, help save Kaladin a little bit. I, you know, is always a good graces in my book. I mean, this, I get like, we were talking about it. This one down. I was like, you need to step down, son. It's better for your health. <laughs> I agree. And then, that was, that, that and then that's it. it. That was it. I agree. Or that was bad. Or but also like, when he's like, he's like, you need stuff down, so it's be better for your health. Oh, but you can still train my army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. That was not. Uh, that was not handled the best. Good idea that he did it. Bad handling. But he makes up for it later in the book when he forces the storm to stop time. Yeah, no, that was and awesome. saves him again. Oh, and then uh, you know that that turnaround. Yeah, Downer actually and saving all of Bridge Four by giving yeah. a shard blade yeah. too. All I guess, way back in Way Kings. Maybe I should put Downer back in too because I think but Downer has like so many big scenes. The yeah. Oathbringer slamming the ground, putting the fear of God in God, opening the you know opening yeah. the familiarity. He's uh, catching a chasm fiend. Uh, Amor, the turnaround on Amor. Yeah, like, that was really that was a big one too. Yeah, yeah wow, yeah. There's so a he's, lot just, of... he's had so yeah. He's just been he's been the paladin. Well, not the paladin, but he's been like he you know, the yeah. He's the reformed paladin of the group, sort mm-hmm. of thing. You know, um. So I'm very. That's why he's like just so high up on the list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then our number ones are the same, of course. Good old Kaladin Stormblast, man with the most miserable life. Thank God I don't have it. <laughs> um, 
I, Kaladin, you know, I was like, yeah, you like Kaladin from the beginning of the book, from the beginning of the yeah. series. No Everyone should, at least. Everyone should. Um, if not, just, if not for his amazing punchy fighty stuff. Um, he's the hero for, of Roshar. Yeah, he is the, he is the hero of Roshar, yes. Um, but, you know, his, his mental stuff is very interesting and very done and very handled very well. And where Shalon, I can understand why she has so many problems. I don't understand. I, I just never, she split her personality and then it became real personality. I was like, oh, this is just, I don't think I could ever do this. I could see myself having depression like Kaladin's one. Oh, day. yeah, but she has multiple personality disorder. Yes, I know. Yeah. I just don't get that one. I, that's what actually, I, this is like, I was talking to somebody at work about it and I was like, this is probably like the best. I think explanation of I've ever seen of like multiple, multiple definitely multiple, yeah it because definitely you sit there is. and you're like why do you not just don't do that yeah like definitely just it don't totally, do that and totally then like he is, explained yeah. it in such a cool way that I was like props and you're right on this level too the way he's explaining Kaladin's depression is just like it's spectacular it's spectacular it's spectacular and it doesn't overtake the book either no not at all not at all um and while Kaladin may have the most boring backstory out yeah, of all he does. of them he does. um I will still say that Tien dying hurts me almost as much as it hurts Kaladin. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah. You just know, and it's like uh, every time Tia, every time they talk about him, and you have a memory mm-hmm. with him. It's like God, fucking damn, the sweetest little kid. Stop doing this to me. Yeah. So, um, yeah, his backstory, his you know, his trauma, and this the fact that every time Kaladin swears an oath, every time Kaladin's winning, I feel like I'm winning a little that's bit. That's true. So just like yeah, I just, that's why puts him at number one because like, whenever he has good moments, I have good moments. He also has Syl. He has Syl, has Syl, who is the best friend in you know, the entirety yeah. Oh, yeah. of Stormlight. She's the best, and um. He also the best thing about Kaladin is like not only is like you know we, we he's always depressed and all stuff but he's like everybody loves him he's yes. like the hero yeah. like every, all bridge four loves him he, like the only person who probably has like annoyance with him is like you know Shalon at first because like mm-hmm. they're both like they're both snippy assholes yeah, uh, yeah. but uh, and then Yasna is a you no know, even I mean like he just, he's 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 everyone knows who he everyone, is yeah. everyone I mean, everyone knows everyone knows who he is because yes. like when Navani is literally like to the sibling she's like get storm blessed and the sibling like, is too late and she's like get storm blessed because yep. she's like i know this man can do it yeah she even thought he was uh gonna be the picked fighter yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that would have been i mean would have been a move bad move but yeah yeah down he's, definitely strong yeah he's not he's not put together if Kaladin yeah. was put together hell yeah, easily. Oh, yeah i think i think if Kaladin put together it could actually probably i don't know That'd be a fight. You know, it'd be a fight. It'd be a fight. It'd be a fight. I actually fight. don't know who would win. Yeah. Because be God, he is. They're both very good fighters. Yeah. It'd be a fight. I mean, it. If I mean, I guess like you know. Yeah. Yeah. It would be a good fight. I'm yeah. trying to think. I mean, now he's a fourth ideal radiant. So. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, oh boy. He might be able to do it now, but. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's true. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but. He's the best. I, I don't care what anyone says. Like, it, especially if you, I, I don't know. I put him as number two in Words of Radiance. Mm-hmm, I remember mm-hmm. that. But every other book, he's been number one for me. And then after Rhythm War, you can't not put him on. Yeah. Like, yes. That's a Kaladin book. That's a Kaladin book. Yes. <laughs> it's Kaladin and Navani's book. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a great book. And yeah. And Shalon to an extent. But yeah. Um, well, Shalon and Nadalyn have their little yeah, yeah, side quests there. there but, but man, it was just yeah, he was spectacular, and he is spectacular every time. He's like, he's never, there's never been a bad, you know moment with him in the book pretty much yeah i do like what you said there it's just like when he's winning it makes you feel like yeah, you're winning. Know, that's so like, true yeah. i never thought about it, but it, like when cal and like, yeah! yeah when some when he got his fourth ideal radiant uh, oh. armor and it had bridge four mark i was like oh. Oh, that's so cool. dude yeah when he was win- when he helped win the when him and Adolin won the tournament i was just like yeah oh, Calden, yeah yeah, Calden, no, yeah Calden. Calden. not tournament the bout whatever no, it I, mean, I knew what you're talking yeah. about so yeah Calden, yeah 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 you're so cool i felt awesome yeah so it was yeah just stuff like that it's like that that's the one character that's the definitive character even when my favorite scene in all of Stormlight right now was when Dalinar, you know, opens up the uh, per- uh, Honor's perpendicularity and scares a god and all this stuff. That is a great scene, but I still say I still think that doesn't make me feel the same way that when Kaladin wins something. I was like, yes, oh, yeah. yes. That's wh- that's why I think like uh, my favorite scene. I always say is uh, the Knights Radiance have returned. When yeah, Kaladin, when Moash runs away like a little bitch. Fuck you, Moash. Yeah, fuck you. Moash. <laughs> so glad you're blind. Fuck you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. bitch. Uh, but yeah, th- he has my favorite scene. Seals the best. It's mm-hmm. just yeah. Yeah. The perfect combo. He's number yeah. one. He's number one. Number one. Um, if you disagree with our list, uh, we probably should have said spoiler alert ahead of this, but that's fine. Um, you know us by this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you disagree with our list, let us know. If you don't have Kaladin in your top five, you're dumb. Um, yeah. That is that actual. Is, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, what's the word I'm for? That's blasphemy. Yeah. That's blasphemy. <laughs> Bass me against the Cosmia. <laughs> oh, and then, because uh, I previewed at this. So, even though we're in the war, which in it a lot. And Wit is definitely the number one character um, in it. Um, 
We I have to wait for them to get out of get off a of freaking Roshar before yeah. I can start putting as my Wit number one. Wit is a Cosmere character. Yes. He exists yes. in all of the Cosmere, yes. and you can't put him as the best character because then he'd be the best character in every fucking book. Like <laughs> just he, yes, he, even true. if he pops up as a beggar for five seconds, so yeah, man, it's the best character right yeah, there. Awesome. You would do that, yeah. Me, a, yeah. Oh no, I wouldn't. I remember I actually said until until we're the more I wouldn't put Wit as my number one because I was he's not in the book enough. Ah, I see. I see. Like they got to be in the book. That's like that's my normal role. Like I either can't, way. Either I way. can't put somebody like Lyft wasn't in my top five until Oathbringer. Yeah. Either way, he's still in all of the Cosmere, and I would even I would still even argue that Dragon Steel, which is supposed to be his book, that's probably when you can put him at the top. But okay, okay, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. We'll see, see. When, uh, we'll see when they bust onto that because they're definitely busting out of Roshar. Yeah. Um, if they're just putting book. everybody together, all yeah. is one thing. Because then, like, I don't know how he plans on writing it, and like sooner or later, is it just going to be just Stormlight, mm-hmm. and like the other ones are just like side stories? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I imagine like. They're all going to get together eventually. Yes. Probably they have, probably have to because, mm. yeah, because Odium is, oh, God, Damn. wants to destroy all the shards. Yeah. And probably all humans. Probably all humans, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Destroy all, kill all humans. To save them. To save them, yeah, of course, yes. That's how that works, right? Yep. Kill everyone to save everyone. Yeah, totally, totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. Yep. But uh, I think our lists are pretty solid. Oh, uh, I like the lists. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad they're different because I remember you said the same. Yes. And so, yeah. And I thought about it a lot since then, so. Yeah. yeah. Good. Glad we both have Lyft on there. Oh, of course. Lyft is amazing. Yeah, Lyft is awesome. Yeah, and Wendell's she's awesome. awesome. She's literally just awesome. And Wendell's awesome. And Wendell's fucking great. Uh, we'll, cheers. We'll do a different episode where we rank all the spread. And then we... Not all the spread. Well, yeah, we can do all the spread because we're not that We do many. all the spread. Yeah, yeah we can do all the spread. A lot of them, and yeah. then uh, we'll do a Cosmic Characters when I finally finish Mistborn. Perfect. Perfect. Sounds good to me. Cool.